The H-1B guy here, and today, the H-1B guy grades. August 2021, Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released. Find out what I got right, what I got wrong, and my final grade. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H-1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H-1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. Today's post is brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads and local job postings since 2001. By Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. And by Perm-Ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. Today, I'm going to grade what the H-1B guy forecasted for August 2021 Visa Bulletin versus the actual August 2021 Visa Bulletin that was released by the U.S. Department of State. Uh, each month, I predict employment-based preferences as it relates to the monthly Visa Bulletin, and once the monthly Visa Bulletin has been posted by the Department of State, I create a follow-up post in the form of the H-1B guy grades to find out how I did with my predictions for the month. So let's jump right into the results for the August 2021 Visa Bulletin that was released late in the afternoon on Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. Final action dates for India, EB1, I predicted August 1st, 2021, actual August 1st, 2021. 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was correct. India EB2 final action dates predicted November 1st, 2011, actual June 1st, 2011. No forward movement, and my prediction was over 153 days. India EB3 predicted April 1st, 2013, actual July 1st, 2013, 181 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 91 days. For China, EB1 for final action dates predicted August 1st, 2021, actual August 1st, 2021, 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For China, EB2 final action dates predicted March 1st, 2018, actual April 1st, 2018, 121 days forward movement, and my prediction was under 31 days. China EB3 predicted April 1st, 2019, actual January 8th, 2019, seven days forward movement, and my prediction was over by 83 days. El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras for EB4 predicted final action dates February 1st, 2019, actual January 1st, 2019. 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was over by 31 days. For Mexico, for EB4, final action dates predicted April 1st, 2020, actual February 1st, 2020. No forward movement, and my prediction was over by 60 days. Moving on to dates of filing for EB1, predicted August 1st, 2021, actual August 1st, 2021. 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For dates of filing for India EB2, predicted February 1st, 2012, actual December 1st, 2011. No forward movement, and my prediction was over by 62 days. For India EB3, predicted February 1st, 2014, actual February 1st, 2014. No forward movement, and my prediction was correct. For dates of filing for China and EB1, predicted August 1st, 2021, actual August 1st, 2021. 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was correct. Four dates of filing for China and EB2 predicted September 1st, 2018, actual July 1st, 2018. No forward movement, and my prediction was over 62 days. Wrapping up with dates of filing for China and EB3 predicted September 1st, 2019, actual July 1st, 2019. No forward movement, and my prediction was over for 62 days. For dates of filing for El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras for EB4 predicted May 1st, 2019, actual March 1st, 2019. 
no forward movement, and my prediction was over by 89 days. And finally, my forecast for the Visa Bulletin release day. My three predictions were Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, Thursday, July 22nd, 2021, and Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. The actual release day, Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. I was correct on five of 16 predictions for my forecast for the August 2021 Visa Bulletin, grading out at 31%. While Charlie Oppenheim has been warning us of a slowdown, I was very surprised to see very little movement across the multiple preference categories, except for India EB3 final action dates and China EB2 final action dates. I really expected India EB3 final action dates to have very little movement, but I did expect India EB3 to continue moving forward as well. This leads me to believe that Charlie is now getting greater data insight into these atrocious processing delays we continue to see for adjustment of status from USCIS. While final action dates for the most part have been met for October 2020's dates of filing, there's still a few that we're waiting on to, to get there. We'll see what the September bulletin has and if that will complete the cycle uh, with October 2020's bulletin that really created this maddening frenzy. Per the Visa Bulletin, this month's Chats with Charlie aired live on Monday, July 19th at 1 p.m. Eastern. I'll post my Episode 5 breakdown and things I learned sometime in the next few days. Also per the Visa Bulletin, the annual Diversity Visa Lottery was held for fiscal year 2022 that was selected at random from 7,336,302 qualified entries. Algeria, Russia, Uzbekistan, and Iran were the top four foreign states for chargeability. For the full post on the H-1B Guy Grades August 2021 Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released, please check out the H-1BGuy.com. And a reminder that today's post was brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads and local job posting since 2001. This national job board network provides recruitment websites at 1,024 major U.S. metro areas. Each local job board is its own portal and is a low-cost resource for immigration recruitment ads and recruitment ads for all industries and professions with a flat price of $225 per ad or $1,000 per month regardless of which city you choose. RecruiterNetworks.com. Tell them the H-1B guy sent you. And by Path to Canada. Path to Canada provides the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Path to Canada is your answer. They will help you navigate the process. And if you're interested in finding out more, please be sure to click the link in the video description below. And also by perm-ads.com, the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. If you want to reduce your costs and overhead associated with perm labor certification recruitment advertising, let perm-ads.com help you. Just wanted to ask you again to like this video subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just wanna say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.